Now from KPRC Channel 2 Sports, it's Friday Football Frenzy, brought to you by your Greater Houston Honda dealers. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Friday Football Frenzy. We have had some fun tonight. Our crews have been all over the city dealing with some lightning delays like we did last week, but we wound up having some good football to bring you. We got all the highlights. We got bands. We got cheerleaders all coming up now on the Frenzy. Let's get it started right now. Let's don't waste any time. The game that's still going on behind me, St. Thomas and Strake Jesuit, one of the best rivalries in the city of Houston, an annual battle sold out tonight. Standing room only. That student section was all fired up. All right, first drive for the Crusaders. Felix Reed finds his tight end, Thomas Gordon. Big gainer to the 25. It would lead to a 25-yard field goal from Santiago Chavez, and that made it 3-0 Jesuit on top. All right, St. Thomas answered back. First drive, they march it down. 33-yard field goal. Jacob Manley with the honors, all tied at three-piece after the first. Then early second, Jesuit moving again. This is senior Michael Purvey. Breaks free, look at him. Right at our photojournalist, Alex Radow. 40-yard touchdown, Jesuit on top, 10 to three. They added another field goal, then with 537 left, Jesuit's defense steps up. Daniel Cho with the interception. He's gonna carry a couple of guys with him into the end zone. Nice pick six. It was 20 to three, Strake Jesuit at the half. Right now, 225 left. Uh, Strake still leading 20 to 10 over St. Thomas. Let's take you down to Trailer Stadium now, uh, down in Rosenberg. Everybody talking about George Ranch and Dickinson tonight. Opening kickoff, Gators, Kick the ball deep. Heralded Longhorns running back Alex Fontenot takes the ball in the 13. Look at Fontenot slicing through that Gator special teams. 87 yards to the house for the touchdown. What a way to start this football game. Extra point was good. Later, the Gators even the score with Miles Lewis's short five yard run. Right now, Dickinson leading 21 to 7 late in that football game. Again, many of these games starting late tonight because of lightning and weather delays. All right, in a rain-soaked Mercer Stadium in Sugarland, it's the Battle of Cougars. Kipner taking on Aldi Nimitz tonight. Closing moments, first half, Kipner up 29-0. Less than 30 left. Nimitz quarterback Stephen McGee hands off to Deshaun Moore, who goes three yards into the end zone for the score. They also added a two-point conversion at the half. Kipner led it 29-8. You see the final busy night there at Mercer Stadium. All right, let's go to the next game now. More rain at the rig in Pearland. This caused another delay. They had to empty the stadium once before they were allowed back in. Weather delayed the game two hours. Game started, Pearland wasted no time. Evan Burgess with the ball to the house. 47-yard touchdown for the Oilers. They go on top by a score of 7-0. Then on the defense, the defensive side Memorial on the move, but this pass picked off by Antoine Carter, the DN for Pearland. Oilers rolling tonight. Uh, they're in the second quarter still. They're gonna, it's going to be a long night at the rig. 21-0 Pearland leading right now over Memorial in the Mustang. To Thorne Stadium we go. All right, check it out. Straight to the fourth quarter. Eisenhower and Montgomery. Eisenhower down but knocking at the door. Quarterback Jordan Hood punches it in from the one-yard line. All right, now under a minute left. Eisenhower on fourth down. They need the touchdown, but the ball sails off the back of the end zone, on the back of the end zone. Bears can celebrate, and they win a close one, a shootout tonight, 25-21, the final. All right, bring it back in town over to Butler Stadium, HISD action, 30-minute lightning delay there between Madison and Bush. Madison's Jamal Franklin takes the opening kickoff. Nice setup right there at the Marlins, uh, 49. That can be midfield at the 50. Their first snap draws the offsides. Free play, and Aaron Thomas then connects on the deep throw. Great circus catch but the teams left the field for a second lightning delay immediately after that. Uh, they're still playing out there. No score early in that game remaining out at Butler Stadium. All right, uh, more highlights uh, straight ahead on the Friday football frenzy. A lot to get to on the way out. Let's check in with the Madison Marlins band. Here they are. Now it's time for the Friday Football Frenzy Play of the Game. Brought to you by Dairy Queen. All right, uh, let's check it out. Our Dairy Queen Play of the Game coming from right here at Clay Stadium from our Game of the Week. Check out this nice job on the 
Straight Jesuit offensive line clearing up big time space for the senior Michael Hervey taking it 40 yards to the house and that would do it right now. It's still going on minute 29 left 20 to 10 straight Jesuit leading. All right, welcome back to Friday Football Frenzy live from straight Jesuit. We've got more highlights to show you. We're going to make a stop over at Del Mar Stadium now. Check in with Hightower and Lamar tonight. Two powerhouse programs here in the area. Lamar scores first. Owen Holt finds Alvante Woodard deep down the field. 52-yard TD pass made it 6-0 Lamar. Quarterback scramble for Holt, then finds Denzel Davis with the completion. Then Davis goes to work. Spin move. He's off to the races. We got more from Lamar in the offense. Holt's going to scramble. He's looking. He finds Albert Cannell. Grabs it for the distance. Uh, goes the distance. Lamar up 20 to nothing, and they get the 51 nothing win tonight over Hightower. All right, uh, more highlights for that. Let's toss it back to studio. Check in with Channel 2 Sports, Lainey Fritz with more. Hey, Lainey. Thanks, Randy. We've got a lot more games to get to, so let's go ahead and get straight to the highlights. First up, Dawson at Deer Park. Deer Park quarterback Hunter Beckton with a nice fake there. He keeps it and takes it outside 20 yards for the opening touchdown. End of the first quarter. Deers again. This time it's Angel Vargas. He goes up the middle into the end zone for a 14-0 lead. Dawson would fight their way back in it in the second quarter, end up taking the lead after half, and they've had a big comeback now. Dawson now leading 41 to 17 late in the fourth quarter. Now tonight's stadium for Episcopal and Prestonwood Christian. Nice on defense when MJ Rivers drops back to throw from his, but it's intercepted Ethan Knight, and he makes it count with a long run all the way back to the end zone for the 70 yard touchdown play. What a play, it's been Episcopal and they lead it 49-14 in the fourth quarter. To Bridgeton Stadium, Morton Ranch and Cy Ridge. Cy Ridge leads 14-7 at the half, and they get it going to start the third quarter. Morton Ranch's Michael White fumbles the kickoff. Cy Ridge recovers and scores a few plays later. 21-7 lead. Morton Ranch answers back on this beautiful option play that ends up in Damian Fountain's hands. He takes it 53 yards down the sidelines into the house, makes it 21-14. Cy Ridge wins it a 35-30 final. All right, that does it from here. Busy night, Randy. We'll send it back to you. Absolutely. Great job. Thanks, Lenny. Appreciate it. Hey, the Friday Football Frenzy Game of the Week, as always, it's in your hands at home. We put up the poll. You vote. Tell me where I'm going next week. New poll is up. Your chance to vote. Take a look at it. We got some great matchups for you next Friday. You see those Katie Woodlands, Manville Pearland, Lamar, Klein Kyles, Dickinson, Texas City. Vote on clicktohouston.com or check out the Frenzy app. Voting is next Wednesday at noon. All right, more highlights straight ahead. We're coming right back on the Friday Football Frenzy. All right, thanks, ladies. One last stop on the frenzy. Manville North Shore, Galena Park ISD Stadium. Quarterback Cason Martin finds Keelan Stokes over the middle, breaks a tackle, and he is gone. Manville down, less than two minutes left. Martin drops back, lets it fly. Camp Scott has it. Uh, they say undefeated. Manville does a knockoff North Shore, 26-13 the final. All right, guys, don't knock over the desk here. This is the uh, Straight Jesuit Ball Club. You're going to win tonight. Celebrate a little bit. Does it feel pretty good to be oh. St. Thomas? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Hey, thanks for all the crew on the Friday Football Frenzy. Great time here at Strake Jesuit. We'll see you next week on the Friday Football Frenzy. Yeah.